about seven days at Western Michigan meeting over 200 people from their community, deans, their president, their um, football coach, their athletic director, tons of students and alumni, and I asked them what it meant to be a Bronco and took many illegible notes about it and I'll take those notes and merge them with what I know about wild horses to come up with an image that hopefully serves the Western Michigan fan base. starts at understanding the evolution of the horse, literally, for me. Why co colors, some horses have broader necks, some horses have thinner necks, long tails, short tails, why their eyes are where they are, and understanding all of that makes you less dependent on a photograph, and because what I'm doing is not from a photograph, it's a conceived image. I have to have all those pieces of information floating in my head so that when I want you to see a horse in a minimal amount of brush strokes, having the proper neck size or the proper color or the proper spirit or attitude will convey through minimal amounts of brush strokes. I think the thing that worries me is that I'm not worried. I mean, I don't, I'm sure that'll kick in, but right now I'm trying to enjoy the fact that this is so new. If I was competing against seven other building wraps of horses, wild horses, there would be a certain pressure of, I don't want mine to suck. But that's the luxury of doing something innovative is you've already succeeded the minute the thing drops and the paint is on it. What happened to your paintbrush, honey? Um, I threw my paintbrush. Why'd you throw your paintbrush? I never thought I was one of those artists that would throw his paintbrush, but I have hit maximum frustration with this project. And I don't know whether I was just channeling wild horses, but I had to throw my paintbrush at the canvas. And it broke. And it didn't even leave an interesting mark on the canvas. I know I'm singing a different tune than the last time we talked, but it's now September 10th. And I was supposed to deliver the file today and I had been asking for the measurements, exact measurements of the canvas for quite some time and because of the hurricane and the earthquake, the company that is in charge of putting up the building wrap was having trouble getting me the, the measurements and it turns out that the building wrap is actually 10 feet shorter than originally estimated, which made the overall image go from like that 
to like that. His face is, you know, twice the size of a human being. I can't even understand that. But um, the best part of it is that I think the last time we chatted, I was doing something like this because um, life was looking pretty chaotic. Now it's up to the people with the cranes and the uh, scaffolding and the wood blocks and the, these printers that I don't know how they print 8,000 square feet of canvas with two with two seam with one seam so they look like a four-story printer I don't know I look forward to seeing it